Hello, my name is Jackson. And my name is Hallie. In the 21st century, one of the biggest challenges we face as a society is the growing health decline epidemic. The United States is one of the leading countries for the highest obesity rate. Therefore, it shows a clear indication that our society has not been fully educated on the topic of health or we are just too lazy to fix these issues. However, it is not just the physical aspect of health, but on the opposite end, we face an increasing amount of mental health issues as well. Mental health issues among college students have become an increasing topic due to the fact that most college students undergo a lot of pressure, therefore leading to things such as depression and anxiety. To prove this statement, we conducted a survey among a sample of college students and asked a series of questions, including rating their current stress level on a scale of 1 to 10, along with the physical effects it might be having on their body. With sleep deprivation being one of the leading physical problems in college students, this is just a precursor for what comes later down the road if the problem isn't fixed. Another serious mental health problem among college students is depression. Over the years, the number of students suffering from depression has increased to around one in every five students. That number is simply devastating because it shows that so many students are suffering from depression and most of them may not be getting the help they need to treat it. A study written by M. M. Alcebe titled The Role of Sources of Social Support and Quality of Life for University Students states that prevalence of mental health problems in university students is increasing and attributable to academic, financial, and social stressors. So not only is mental health problems like depression affecting the student's schoolwork, but it also plays a larger role in their everyday lives by decreasing social skills and negatively affecting financial responsibilities. Depression is caused by a mix of different hormones that are produced by the brain, including serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, which all control our feelings of happiness and pleasure. Depression occurs when one of these hormones is out of balance. The cause of the imbalance is still not fully understood. A person suffering from depression should limit their time alone and should try to surround themselves with positive energy. However, for more extreme cases, behavioral therapy along with psychiatric evaluation may also be needed. There is also numerous hotlines for anyone who may be struggling with depression. In conclusion, our basis for mental health is something that we believe should be taken more seriously when it comes to students. We are some of the most vulnerable targets for mental health issues due to the amount of stress that students undergo. From sleep deprivation to depression, no matter the case, all students should have full understanding of how to take care of their mental health and well-being. Thank you for watching! With our results from the survey, most of our participants had ranked their stress level around the 6 or 7 mark, which indicates a more increased level of stress. Along with this, one of the main problems that many people were experiencing was sleep deprivation. An article published by the American Psychological Association titled Effects of Threatened Sleep Deprivation on Action Tendencies and Response Inhibition states that the ability to control action is crucial for adaptive responding, but may be compromised in situations involving strong emotions or when people are deprived of resources. Translating this into other words, when we are too tired and not rested, our thought process and reactions have a different response than what they would have if we were fully rested. This can lead to unwanted outcomes of things such as not being able to think properly on tests or continuing to elevate your cortisol levels, which in turn increases stress. This is why as students, we need to maintain a consistent circadian rhythm or sleep cycle. The best way to reset your circadian rhythm is by first coming up with a well-maintained nighttime routine, followed by a consistent time in which you wanna sleep. Also staying up all night long with sleeping, with sleeping in too late is something that can negatively affect your circadian rhythm and therefore should be avoided. The reason why circadian rhythm is so important is because it allows our bodies to control our hormones, digestion, bodily temperature, and along with aiding, importantly, body repair.